Well, he's been a passion of yours, isn't he? Oh, no, not personally. He's been know. my... I'm not like that. <laughs> no, 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 not, no, not like, like that. that. Welcome home to Wales. It's Thank great you. to have you here. Nice to be home. And what an event. Especially, it's always nice to come home, especially with a, such a, a spectacular event. When it was somebody that obviously you liked, that you respected, that you looked up to, mm -hmm. how do you then go about approaching that? Because well, that must know, be quite I, tough. I'd, I'd, love to, I'd love to say that it was like really complicated and difficult. Yeah. Um, I just put a wig on my head and... Um, and some um, sharp suits, and, huh? and there we have it, you know. Now, not many of us can afford one Ferrari, let alone stretch to the cost of two. But uh, Welsh business magnate Duncan Barber, well, I guess he can best be described as a bit of a Ferrari fan. He's got 17. You've got to have a few coins in your pocket to be able to afford this sort of thing. How much do you think you're worth now? I mean, if you, oh. went, to, if you went to the cash point and put your cash point card in and said, can I have a balance, please? What do you reckon it would be? Don't know. Don't care. Tell me the story behind the license plate. Six Feb, what's that all about? Well, that would just remind me of something, something which happened a long time ago. On that particular day, I'd done something which, which did cost me an awful lot of money. And I, deal. Just to remember, I vowed never to do it again. Yeah. So when I see you coming towards me on the road, I think, don't do that again. Obviously, your wedding anniversary, isn't it? 6th of February. No, it's not. It's a no? business deal. Business. It was the day you got married, wasn't it? <laughs> I know. I, I know. bought it for our 25th anniversary. It's a little gift for that. There's no doubt Jackie's really lived what we'd consider probably a pretty idyllic lifestyle. She's got homes in some of the most beautiful cities in the world. She's jet setted all over the place and partied with the A listers. While she admits she's enjoyed it, definitely a fringe benefit to what she does, it seems to all pale into insignificance compared to what really rocks her boat. And that's her writing. Hello, good evening. Wales is still lagging behind the rest of the UK when it comes to education. So, the key question tonight, what more has the weather got to throw at us? James Wright is outside in the cold for us this evening, a brave man. James, what can we expect? And possibly becoming Britain's youngest female director. Good luck Good to luck. her, yes. absolutely. <laughs> Good luck, fingers crossed for her. Yeah. Well, the sport uh, comes next and goals galore for Welsh football teams this week. Uh, yeah, absolutely right, Rich, and uh, fingers crossed is more of the same this weekend. A team of Welsh engineers are preparing to help save one of the world's oldest pyramids. The restoration experts who are from Newport have won a contract to repair the 3,000-year-old pyramid of Zosa in Egypt, of course. They've got a deadline of just three months to complete their work. No pressure there, then. We're all shook up on tonight's Wales show, but don't worry, you're still in good hands. Well, have you ever wondered what it's like to take a show like this on the road? Well, if you wonder those sorts of things, best to ask the person who knows. Ben Jefferson is the company manager. Ben, can I just interrupt you there? Sorry, ladies. Can I just grab him for a second? Great to see you. Hello. An amazing show, Mamma Mia. How the heck do you take something of this size on the road? Hello, welcome to the show with The X Factor and then some. A lot of great singers like yourself, singer-songwriters. They say that they can only really write from experience. That's where the real gems come from. Is that totally the case with you? Is it, has it got to be something you've experienced to be able to put it into song? Or, or, or can you be a bit more sort of relaxed about it than that? Um, I think it's, if I could explain it or define it, I would be a much wiser young woman, I think. We're in the presence of comic genius tonight. Hey, that's probably the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Fran. Don't get delusional, Johnson. Two, three, there, yeah. Well, thank you for the lesson on this <laughs> with my hips. It was really great to meet her. She is such a talent. It's good to have your company. We're at Wadden Road, where Cheltenham have been entertaining Port Vale. I get all the glamorous jobs. It used to be owned by a noblewoman called Matilda de Breas. Good, I'm sure that ran here. Yeah. Yes. Good. I've come to find another very special lady who I'm going to scooch up next to her, Nicole Cook. Anyway, that's the way Wales looks this 12th night. From all of us on the late team, thanks for your company. Bye for now.